Hi, I'm Danielle with BoardVantage, and I'm going to walk you through the process of preparing for an upcoming board meeting. BoardVantage board books allow for permission-based access to board book materials, single-click collation of large volumes of information, and clickable bookmarks for easy navigation. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the document repository. To add a new meeting folder, we can click on the Add Folder button and type in a date for the upcoming meeting. If I want to move the folder, I can simply drag and drop it anywhere within the tree structure to manage my content as needed. I have two options for uploading documents to my meeting folder. I have the option to upload files from my computer, or I can upload an entire folder of content. The Upload Folder option allows me to navigate out to my desktop and drill down to a specific folder. Once I locate my folder of meeting materials, I can simply drag and drop it into the orange Dropbox. My entire folder of meeting documents will upload to the portal in their native formats. This allows the administrators to edit documents within their native programs. In preparation for my board meeting, I want to go ahead and assemble my board book. The first step is to locate my Word agenda and click on the drop down arrow for the Document Options menu. I am going to select Edit and this is going to open the agenda within Microsoft Word for me. Now I am going to link all my supporting documents to my Word agenda. To do this, I highlight the first line item on my agenda and then right click. Then I select Link ECX Content. This is going to open a window with all the items in my document repository. I can then drill down to locate the first agenda item. Once I have located the document, I simply click on the link symbol to link. I can continue to link all my supporting documents in this manner. Once I have linked all documents, I can close Word and select to save the agenda back to the portal. Now if I open my agenda, I can see all the links I created. I can click on any links to be taken to an agenda item. Once I've assembled the agenda, I can use the board book wizard to create my board book. I can access the options menu for the agenda and select the option to create board book. In the first screen, I am going to title my board book. In the next screen, I can confirm the contents of my board book. You'll notice all the documents are in the same sequence or order as I linked them. I have the option to add or remove separator pages. I also have the option to add custom separator pages. I can then click Save and successfully collate all those individual files into a single PDF. To view the board book, a director can click on the links to drop down to any particular section within the board book. They can also use the bookmarks on the right hand side to navigate through the materials. Another feature to show you here is the concept of permissions based access. There may be a particular document within the board book that only certain individual members are allowed to see. Let's take, for example, the annual performance report. Only certain individual users should have access to this document. I can simply go to the permissions and see who currently has permissions to this document. Currently, my entire directors group has permissions. I can click on the green arrow to bring up all my groups and users within the portal and select the individual who should not have access to this document. I can simply drag and drop the director to my permissions window, change the permissions value to deny, and click Save. As an administrator, if I want to verify my permissions are set correctly, I can right-click here on my board book, click on View As, select that individual user, and at this point, I will be able to see exactly what the director is seeing. In this case, he does not have access to the performance report. In the document repository, 
We also support last minute changes or adjustments as we know those are going to occur. Any Microsoft Office documents can be edited within the portal. Or, as an administrator, if I receive an updated version of a document, I can simply right-click and replace that document with the new version. Once I've replaced the document, the boardbook will automatically update to ensure directors are always seeing the most current version of all documents. Once I've finalized the boardbook, I am ready to notify my board members that the material is now available. I can access the Options menu for the boardbook and select Notify. The notification allows me to notify entire groups within the portal or individual users. I can type in a message with as much detail as I would like. Once I am ready to send, I click Notify, and this notification will go out to my board members, letting them know the boardbook is now available to them within the portal.